Hi guys, so uh, I've got a few more uh, questions from all the Facebook followers and Twitter followers. So Simon Horn, hi Alex, why are you based in Gosport? What attracts you to being based here for a number of years with your team? Well, hi Simon, um, we're based in Gosport because uh, we think in the UK it's one of the best places to be based. I'm also from Gosport, that's where I live. A lot of our team and suppliers and, and uh, everybody who's around the team we support some are based around there. So. It's a great place. We're based in Hasla Marina, and uh, yeah, I've been there the whole time, and we're very, very lucky to be there. Richard Gurney, hi Alex. How much weather guidance comes from your routers? In other words, do you make the call on the weather routing or follow their guidance? Hi Richard. Well, one of the rules of this class is we have to do our own routing. We're not allowed to have any outside assistance at all, and that's not just for this race. This is for all the Amaka races. So uh, it keeps the cost down, makes it interesting, and. Uh, I think some of the best navigators in the world are probably sailing in this, in this fleet. Richard Kirkham, hi Alex, listen to your latest question and answer session. You mentioned 115 to 130 degrees is the best true wind angle sailing. What apparent angles does that generate? Well Richard, um, at 120 true wind angle I could be sailing an average apparent wind angle of about a, uh, 50. So uh, it moves around an awful lot depending on how fast you're going and how big the waves are, but uh, it's uh, about 50. Jeremy Home, Hi Alex, does the ability to communicate during the race affect you? Who do you talk to and how? Your team, family and friends. Hi Jeremy, well I speak to the team every day, or try to if I've got communications, and I speak to my wife every day. That's the, uh, the mainstay of my communication outside the boat. I do speak to a couple of friends as well, but um, it does depend on how, how my comms are. Recently my comms have not been very good at all, so it's been a bit difficult. Um, I try and do as many video like this as possible because um, I'm communicating not just to my family or friends but lots and lots of people and, uh, and I get loads of messages of support so I really like doing it. It's a bit selfish really. I get to do a video and you guys get to support me and, and I feel great about it. So uh, it's, uh, it takes a bit of time but uh, I, I love doing it. Marcus Mueller and Susie Hudson, you got the same questions. I was wondering how we deal with clothes, do you wash underwear, how many change of clothes do you have, do you wash them and dry them? Well, I don't wash or dry anything. Um, I've got quite a few sets of, of uh, thermal underwear, underpants, socks, etc. I won't use them all. I'm a bit of a hoarder. I like to I wear stuff until they're pretty almost good for the bin, just in case I get lots wet and I need some. So, um, yeah, and not really any showering e either. I, I had a, a freshwater range squall shower in the tropics when I went through the doldrums. Hopefully I'll get one this time. But uh, I haven't showered since then, so a bit pongy probably. That's it for now. Take it easy.